What started your love of fishing? Well, I grew up with a granddaddy and my father. I loved it and started in fresh water, really, in ditches and canals and ponds, fishing for brim and bass, and just kept on getting bigger in it. How old were you when you started fishing? What was your first memory? Mm. <laughs> Five or six bass fishing in a pond. Caught right many that day. Who taught you the most about fishing? Well, just experiencing it every day, doing it every day, and learning what my granddaddy and dad taught me. It was just in fresh water. I kind of moved the salt water by myself and playing with it and just got deeper in it and just fishing with friends and buddies and started getting in tournaments, just started learning more and more about it. When did you start fishing tournaments? What was your first one? Mm. I'd say... Probably Don't talk right yet. Wait until you move it. 17, 18. I was fishing, started fishing bass tournaments at Lake Man Mesquite in High County. With um, tournaments up there. And never, never really placed none at that time I was fishing them, but caught some pretty bass. What was your biggest fishing tournament? Oh, my biggest one was probably this fall. I came up here and caught some monster rock over. That was that was a volunteer fire department of Bell Haven raising money for ca cancer patients. And matter of fact, we won that money and we donated the winnings back, didn't we, Reed? Do you watch fishing so shows? If so, what ones and do you, what ones and what do you learn from them? Well, I used to watch them, watch a lot of them, but I really don't watch them no more. Between work, when I it used to be Bill Dance and um, Jimmy Houston and Hank Parker when I was bass fishing, but really that's about all that's on. Really, there ain't much salt water fishing on, and that's what I mostly do now. I got out of bass fishing. In tournaments, do you win anything, money, anything like that? And if so, what do you do with it? Well, most of the time, this past, what was it, $660 we won this fall, Reed? Ain't that what it was, 660 And we donated 400 that back to the cancer patient we were raising money for. But uh, tournaments we fish with the people called Fishermen's of Men, we um when we win them we just take it all because it's just that's what it is, it's just the tournament itself and I think the most we won in that what five fifty. It's usually got a four it's got a full division, got a trout, a three third place trout, first second place trout, and then a first second place flounder, drum also and um a rock when rock season's in. Winning total of twenty two hundred dollars. I think we one a puppy drum and a trout one before together, a combination. Where do you fish, fish mostly? Hungo River, Hunger Creek, Beaufort County area, High County. We we'll fish High County area a lot too. Do you mostly use artificial or live bait, and why? Strictly all artificial because most of the tournaments do not allow live bait, but we rather fish artificial anyway because the baits that we use, we just got a lot of confidence in them. 
and they just 17 mini lures 17s what they call them different colors uh, you got to find the right color that they bite in that day if you had advice to give a person on fishing what would it be hmm. well I mean it's just I mean the reason I like it it's just I mean, just like today, I knew it was going to be a bad day with the rain, with the wind, and then all the rain we had, the water looks like chocolate milk. I knew we probably weren't going to do nothing, but just being out here in the nature, I mean, just like we saw bald eagles fly by a while ago, and just just seeing the scenery, it's just, I don't know, it just relieves my mind. When you do tournaments, are you by yourself, or do you have a partner? I got a partner who's on the back of the boat right now. His name's Reed Radcliffe. And I got a daughter that fishes with me too, my middle daughter, Madison. But um, she's fished for mostly the tournaments we fished last year. So, hey, hey, hey Reed. Reed. <laughs> That's Daddy's fishing partner. <laughs> Have anything else you would like to say, sir? Grab a line and I'll be glad to take somebody fishing because I love it. Love being out here. But saltwater trout about my biggest thing. And we go with um Rack Radcliffe Marine. His daddy owns Radcliffe Marine and um we do right much offshore fishing with him and that's that's really nice because you're going out there in deep blue water. It's expensive gas wise, but it's just a different total fishing and Sometimes it gets rough, it gets you queasy in the stomach if you ain't used to it, but I just love being out, no matter what I'm doing, I just love to be all parts, fresh water, salt water, offshore, I just like it all.